Welcome to Design Chats, brought to you by Slab Sales Africa. My name is Airborne Masangomai, and I'm your hostess with the most. Today, we're going to be talking all things design. And what better way to start with our trend setting interior architect, Chiesa from Krista Ella. Chiesa, welcome to the show. Hi, everyone. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm Chiesa. Yeah. Um, Chiesa Mulilo. I'm an interior architect. Um, I am the lead designer for a Krista Ella Interior Architects, founded by myself. <laughs> We're a, a team of architects that major on interiors. Mm -hmm. So um, I basically studied interior architecture um, with the LUCT, which is Lim Kokwing. It's a Malay university. Where is that? Um, I studied in the Africa campus, which is in Botswana. That is fancy. <laughs> that is really nice. I've yeah. never been to Botswana. Oh, yeah. but that's amazing. Yeah. So, Sheza, so in your journey, like how has it been getting into the market, into the Zimbabwean market? Like do people appreciate it? Because I'm an interior stylist. I don't know if you can tell. Mm, I can tell. Hey, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm an interior stylist. And it's been an interesting journey for me, uh, seeing the market in Zim and seeing how people are transitioning to sort of like accepting that they are not interior designers just because you can put a sofa in a room and whatever. Like, how has that been for you, the journey of uh, sort of like educating the marketplace about interior architecture? So it's been it's been quite interesting because what an interior architect is, is quite kind of a gray area. Yes, That people is. don't quite get. <laughs> they don't get so it. So you have to I educate. I don't even get it. I'm like, so what do you do? I got you. Let okay. me, let me, let me explain it. Yes. Cool. <laughs> so what interior architects are, we're, we're that sweet spot between mm. your architect and your interior designer. Mm. So you've got the competence of an architect. Yes. You know loads, you know how buildings go up, how they set up. Yes. Um, but you also have the flair of the interior designer. Yes. So we're that sweet spot whereby you want to do uh, maybe renovations yeah. or we're coming into just a carcass of a building and we need to erect walls and the like. Yeah. But the finish isn't just four white walls. It has to speak. It has to say hello. Yes, exactly. No, that's beautiful. Okay, when you get a carcass, like a carcass of a space, right? Like how, what's your process? Like when you're picking, let's say the materials that you're going to use because Again, there's quite a lot of different textures, materials, whether it's fabrics, whether it's like where we are right yeah. now, like this is your masterpiece. Yes. So yeah, so like, tell us that process, like how does that work? Well, um, I think it's always quite key to understand your client first mm -hmm. because you need to impress them, first of, of all. They're the ones paying for this project. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and they're paying you. So <laughs> you need to keep them happy. Yeah. So first of all, we always want to know who's our, who's our client. Yes. What are they trying to create? What's the space they want to create? Yeah. So what we then do is we try and just bring the, the competence to make it make sense. Mm. But also we try and walk the client through their space even before it's built. So we will obviously like this building, it was just four gray walls, just concrete and beams and columns and yes. slabs. Yes. And then we will come and measure and then we'll then design it in a 3D um, render. Yeah. So we'll do either a walkthrough or just a 3D image. But the 3D image part, yeah. does it actually come out exactly like the 3D? Yeah. Or you have room to like... Like, ah, that one I couldn't find, so <laughs> you replace it. Look, we always try to design from practical uh, materials that are available in the market. Mm. Um, look, for example, if we know that we can use a 12 millimeter stone for this application, yes. we will do that. If yeah. we know that this is the kind of lighting, this is the mood we're creating. Yes. So we design not from the air, mm. but we design from what's practically available in the market. What's been your relationship with Slab Sales? Have they, have they been good to you? Oh, no. Um, you know, David, you can be honest. Eh? <laughs> No, I will. Don't worry. I, I, I'm honest. <laughs> um, Jamie and his team have been just so instrumental um, in, in the projects we do. Um, I work with a company that does some of my fit outs. Uh, sometimes I have a, a, an in-house team that has it, does it. And what we do is usually you, you call Gloria on yes, the phone. You yes. say, Gloria, I want to create this thing. And literally, it'll be on the next truck That's to crazy. come here. And you're like, my client is going to pay eventually, but they will bring it in. I have to, do, I have to say myself, like, <laughs> this is amazing. I think I walked in, like, when it first opened, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm in South Africa. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So no, no shade, <laughs> no shade, no shade. <laughs> so at our current location, where we are right now, we are in Kangaroo Pouch. It's a beautiful space. Please, please, can you walk us through how this 
process worked out and where you found the inspiration and how you managed like and if there's any ups and downs during the project like what what were some of your hurdles like whether deadlines or any of those things like okay. well thanks um Airborne. um this project is, is was quite nice i think the client again was very clear yes. um what kangaroo pouch does is that they exclusively sell south african product mainly woolies yes so it had to feel like you're almost in Woolies without really saying I'm in Woolies. Yeah, <laughs> you know what of I'm course, saying? Of course. So what we did is that we had to we designed the space um, 100%, but we also then had to share the contracting with the client. They had their own tiler, they had their own um, stealing carpenter. Yes. So um, what we did is that from a design perspective, we decided to just play around with a lot of textures. As you can see, a lot of the palette is in the black and the dark grey, yes, yes. but that is complemented with these warm. Um, light temperatures which we which is on 3000k um, color temperature range so we did that a lot of hidden you can see the light but you can't see the source so to speak yes. so it kind of creates a, an environment that you're like hmm, i feel cozy yes. you know what i mean and yeah in terms of colors and textures um again the black with the with the light oaks yes. um the warm color temperatures yes. the detailing on the tiling you can't see it but if it's not there yeah. you will feel it or yeah, if i would <laughs> you know yeah. you're yeah. holding it exactly. near and dear to your heart exactly. and the stone like what sort of stone did you use um we used um caesar stone white attica, white attica. yes okay. so um again it's a very hard wearing lifetime warranty on the stone really kudos to caesar stone yes um and then it's a 12 millimeter so it still goes with the trends that are happening right now mm. but it's it, it's it's as tough as, as nails wow. it's not gonna go you got it's scratch resistant it's stain resistant it's perfect just for this kind of setting that's amazing yeah. guys i think that's it from from us um thank you so much for seeing us if there's anything that you'd like to say um to a potential client or any 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 words that you'd like to like parting words uh, with anyone that needs to learn about about interior design interior architects <laughs> interior architects so if there's anything that you'd like to share please the floor is yours thank you everyone well i think just my my word of advice i guess from an industry professional is that sometimes you can pinch the pennies and then in the end you end up breaking the bank mm. so it's best it's best that you just hire a professional that has has the ropes has got those discounts that you can't get because you're walking through the front door you know and um in the end you'll find that you have saved yourself a whole lot more by just hiring a person who can walk you through your project i think those are my parting words ah, such wise words <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next episode. Airborne, out.